Just put more sugar in. Eat a low carbohydrate diet. Keto is life TV. Yo, what's up? What's up? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Oh, I just noticed I still got my apron on. <laughs> so uh, today, man, today we are talking about this right here. Sugar, the silent killer. Sugar, the silent killer. Because I tell you what, it is a silent killer, man. It is a silent killer. People don't realize it. I'm going to go ahead and keep it up right here for y'all can see it. And then uh, I'm going to show y'all something that y'all can see, a documentary y'all could see, and it's about keto and stuff like that. And y'all can check that out, you know. But uh, let me get on real quick. Wait for some people to come on here real quick. Please do remember always share my videos, share my videos, start your own watch party. If you like, invite your friends and everything. It's for a good cause all the time. Speaking of a good cause, right now I got these, these delicious... Um, uh, what are they called again? Black seed oil pills. They're um, they're natural. And they're so good. And they're so so good. So I can't see nobody on here. I don't know why. Let me see. Hold on. So this got a delay over here on it. So, so good. let me just see if so I can so just good. show some love on here. I on so I can see who's on here right now. So sugar, man, sugar is the silent killer, right? So everybody assumes that eating sugar is going to be okay for them, right? But actually it's not. You know, eventually, you know, you're going to get sick. You know, sugar does a lot of things. It destroys a lot of parts of your body. Um, one of the number one, the, <laughs> I'm always stuttering. The number one thing it does is diabetes. You know, it causes diabetes, you know, it causes heart failure, heart disease, um, anxiety, depression. Uh, it, it messes up your skin. It, it, it does so, so much, man. I'm, I'm trying to take off this, this, um, apron, but I think I already made a knot in the back of it. So I can't even take it off right now. Maybe I still can. Hold on. So, um, so some people, man, they still, they still don't get it. You know, I, I don't understand how they don't get it. They, hold on, give me a second. They still don't get it. Like today, today I was showing people, today I was showing people how, uh, they can make four tacos, four tacos, that are better than what they're eating now. And they were very low carb and they're keto, you know, they're keto. So you definitely got to go check them out. Um, that was the video I did today. Uh, I'm always doing a cooking channel uh, when you're cooking with free the keto coach. And uh, man, all I'm trying to do out here is help people, man, help people as much as I can, because I want their health to get better. You know, uh, some people think it's an easy it's an easy thing just to to get your health better, but to go to the gym, but you just don't go to the gym. That's not going to help everything. You know, you got to understand something. When you go to the gym, that just helps the outside. That's all it's going to do is help the outside. It's just like, if you wash a car, if you wash a car and the car and the inside of the car is dirty or, or not swept or messed up, but the outside sparkling clean and, and, and it looks really nice. The rims, everything looks really nice. You haven't took care of the inside of the car. So guess what happens when the people go into the inside of the car? It's still messed up. It's still dirty and everything, right? Well, that's the same thing about, you know, about this. You know, you think you can work out and you can go out there and, and you're going to take care of your problem in the inside. You're not going to take care of your problem from the inside until you start deleting sugar out your life. One of the most important things to do is to delete sugar out their life, you know. And, and why I say that? Well, because I've been there. You know, I've been there. I've had, um, man, I, I sound like I, I repeat myself all the time, but I don't mind. You know, I want you to know for the people that are new to the here. Right now, we, we have some people in here and hope we get some more people on here. But uh, please leave your comments, leave your messages and stuff like that. I'll, I'll be, and I, I think the reason why I can't see y'all comments because y'all need to hit the um, where it says ECAM. Just, you just got to hit it one time. You got to accept it one time 
and then you'll be able to, I, I'll be able to see all your messages and I might be able to write back to you and stuff like that. But it's something like to, to do with the ecam, so you just got to hit the ecam. And, and the reason why I choose to be on this deal right here, even though I don't get a lot of people on here, like if I w if I would on Facebook and just tag everybody, because I'm able to move stuff around here, like I'm able to write stuff on here, and you know I'm already able to show y'all stuff, like you know, um, just like stuff's able to come out of here, like what sugar is really doing to your body, to the body, and and that's something that I did a while back. Well, actually yesterday or day before yesterday and today's sugar is the silent killer why do i call it a silent killer because it's silent it kills you silently you know um first of all you know you get diabetes after diabetes you know um you end up be, first you're type 2 diabetic and then you're type 1 and then shoot there's even a type 3 now you know type 3 is when you know when a person gets like um when when their memory when their memory starts getting lost uh, uh, like uh uh Alzheimer's, you know, and, and it, it's all from sugar. Everything's from sugar, you know. Uh, sugar's so bad for your eyesight. Sugar's so bad for your skin. Sugar's so bad for your inside. You can everything you could think of. Sugar's bad, and I know that it ages you because I, I'm 49. I just turned 49, and last year, well, not about two and a half years ago, I look older. I look older. I was bigger, and I looked older, and I had more wrinkles, and it, it just it's crazy. But that's how it is, man. But shout out to y'all, man. I, I, I'm seeing y'all over here. So shout out to Janice and shout out to uh, Dodo. Shout out to all of y'all, man. Appreciate y'all being on here. Uh, again, I cannot see y'all on, on here, but it's really awesome, man. But I got a little monitor over here, so we're good. You know, we got, we're good right now. Um, And the thing is, guys. Okay, so I see a comment. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate that. It's my main goal is to lose weight. It's keto for me. Honestly, if your main goal is to lose weight, I, I think it is it is good for you. Um, and I and I and I seen you. I know how you look, so you don't need to lose that much weight. But um, ke the keto lifestyle is to take care of people's health and their weight. And if you think that you don't have a health problem right now, that's awesome. That's awesome. But health problems would occur. They they really do. And you know anything could be a health problem. Like when when you. When you go down and tie your shoe, you're probably getting dizzy. You know, your energy level is probably not where you want it to be at. And so if you start doing a keto lifestyle, then all that changes. You know, you get more energy. You get energy to the roof and and you start feeling better. And, and then you could do all, you know, whatever you want to do. You just get more energy and stuff like that. You know, it's first of all, it's not a diet. So whatever people people do not know exactly about the keto lifestyle and you know and that's one thing they say keto diet 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 that's some of the people do the keto lifestyle for the wrong reasons you know the keto lifestyle in my and what i the reason why i do the keto lifestyle is not for somebody's weight i do it for their health even though it helps it helps it, it's an amazingly it helps you amazingly to do the keto lifestyle to lose weight you know it's one most of the rapids the, the most rapid uh, um lifestyle i don't call it a diet i never call it a diet Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? How you doing, Sylvia? Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, man, see. <laughs> Siri thinks I'm talking to her. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Shut up. <laughs> She's over here interrupting. Yeah, man. Hey, them them baked goods are doing really good, man. Sugar is the devil dot net. They're doing really, really, really good. So make sure y'all go out there and, and pick it up. And, and I, I, I'm a I guess I, I can type over here. I can type over here. So let me put, let me put my bakery right here. Sugar is the devil dot net hold on well, i'm blind with glasses hold on so there it goes sugar is the devil dot net and um yeah guys man you know it, it's uh people talk about the keto lifestyle and they say um that the keto is about eating all the meat you want to eat and it's not about that. You have to eat vegetables. You have to um, maintain your protein. You have to eat, you know, what it is, you've got 75% of fat, 20% uh, of protein, and 5% of carbs. And that's what you want to get out of your calories, you know. You could get them right there off the line. I, I, sh I, sh uh, I ship all around the United States, Sylvia, all over the United States. And and you can see all the reviews they leave me. They, I've, I've gotten, thanks to God, I mean... It's good. I've gotten none but amazing reviews on my on my you know on my bakery on my online bakery, 
and you can see all the reviews on there. So everybody's loving it. Everybody's loving it. Awesome, 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 awesome. And um, and by the way, you still look great, Sylvia. You look great. I know. I know you've been working on yourself and everything, so you look awesome. You know, and and, and some people, man. Um, Everybody does. A lot of times people do diets and stuff like that. And, and honestly, I want to get you to understand something. The keto lifestyle is not a diet, even though you hear it all the time. The keto diet, 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 this, diet. It's not a diet. It's an amazing lifestyle. Amazing lifestyle. What's up, Doug? How you doing, Dad? You know, um, vegetables are, are really important. And, and I, 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 I constantly eat vegetables. I might not eat them every day, but I do try to eat vegetables every other day. Actually, I do eat them every day. I just, it's just a different type of vegetable. Um, one of the vegetables I tell you how to eat is the green leaf. Green leaf vegetables. Green leaf vegetables is really important, as in Brussels sprouts, uh, leeks. Uh, people don't know about leeks, but leeks is actually onion. Uh, it tastes like onion. And it's like almost like onion. So it tastes like onion and you just cut it up and people don't know about it. I mean, do you know about leeks? Um, hey, Beto, how you doing? And um, so, yeah, you definitely you definitely got to eat more green leaf vegetables. And so what you what you want your plate to consist of, you know, I personally eat only one time. I have one window that I eat from. And I'm not telling you to do that because I do the intermittent fasting thing. You know, I do. That's what I do. I also coach that. And um, so. Excuse me. So pretty much I go 20 hours, 20, 22, 23 hours. Like today I finished eating at what? What time was I doing the video? I was already full. I was doing that video. And some of the people seen the video. And you go back and see the video. But my wife goes, okay, let's sit down and eat. And I was already, I was already full. I ain't going to lie. I was already full. Um, so, so I ate another taco and that was it. Uh, and that was probably like around 7.30, 7.45. So I'm done already. And um, now I'm just drinking water and, and, you know, if I want to drink my amazing tea, I'll drink my tea and stuff like that. But that's about it. That's about it, you know. No, no, not everybody can do that. Not, 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 not everybody can do that. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. You know, a lot of people can do a lot of stuff, but they don't give themselves enough faith to do it. A lot of people, they, they don't even try. You know, I tell people, man, try this amazing keto lifestyle. Try, you know, um, try to do it. Try to, The main thing, my main thing is not just where it don't just stop on the keto amazing lifestyle. It stops when I want you to delete sugar out your life. The reason why I love the keto lifestyle, because on one of the biggest thing it tells you is to uh, low carbs, high fat, and you're taking in less sugar, right? But I don't stop there. I, I don't want to touch that sugar. I try not to touch that sugar for nothing, you know. And, and, and I know some people that are like, it's an addiction. You know, it's a big addiction. And that's why in the back of me, I got my projector right here. Y'all can't see my projector, but I got my projector here. And I'm going to go in a little bit, and I'm going to go to a video. And I want you to see the video. And I know y'all can't, it's, it's going to be hard to see it with this light, with my cam light, and then, you know, in here. But you'll get an idea. But what I'm the reason why I'm doing it, because I told a lot of people to go see this video on Netflix and a lot of people haven't seen it yet. So I want them to see it. It's a documentary, and I want them to see it. And as long as they see that, you know, I'm putting it on over here for them, they don't know exactly where to go to and where to, you know, how to get it and stuff like that. But it's an awesome, awesome documentary that you can see, you know. So um, I appreciate everybody. Let me give everybody some hearts. All right, appreciate y'all, man. So we got Jose. We got Doug. We got uh, um, Beto, Sylvia. Um, uh, we got Los, De Los Santos, Betsy. How you doing? If it's your first time on my show, please put one. If it's your first time on my show, please put one. If you're watching my show at a later time, please put two. Uh, what I usually do is I, I do the show and then I do a watch party because a lot of people, you know, they, I get a lot of people on the watch party. And then I send it to my YouTube. It goes straight to YouTube. And then you can watch it on YouTube. If you don't got my channel for YouTube, it's Keto is Live TV. Yep, that's it, sir. That's it right there. Magic pill. That's it. And, you know, I already seen it. I seen it already six times. And every time I see the magic pill, I get something new from it. I, I learn something from it. You know, sometimes we think we know too much, but we don't know too much. Even, I mean, I've been DJing since the late 80s, and I still practice. I still, some people say, man, why are you practicing? And I was like, you know what, because I can only get better, and I, I can only learn some more. I, I'm, I'm always learning, you know. So I appreciate you, Jasmine. I'm, I'm glad you're on here. I'm glad you're on here. And um, so... When y'all think I'm not watching, I'm watching and I'm happy. Like Jasmine, when, when she was uh, she was eating pizza and she just ate the top of the pizza, 
right? She just ate the top of the pizza. So that was awesome. You know, my water's about to fall. Does it, is it still like perfect? No, there's nothing perfect in life, you know? But if you can get your health better or if you, you know, you can eat better and do some better, then that's going to be awesome. Like, like Veto, when I see Veto do her food now, you know, um, I, I just, I just met Doug, but I went to his pictures and, and you know, I've seen some of his pictures and he's doing awesome. And, and then, um, Cruz, uh, somebody else I just started coaching. He's doing awesome. He sent me his lettuce, uh, burgers he had today, you know, and, and they're so, so good. People think that they have to eat all that bread with all that sugar and all those carbs. And then I, then I, not too long ago, I had a video and I showed y'all how you could eat bread. Bread does zero carbs, zero everything, and, and it's good. It's good, right? And some people don't like it. Some people don't like it or nothing like that. Yes, yes, uh, uh, fathead pizzas rock. They do, man. They do. We, we, we do our... We got a, a, a recipe that we do our pizza, and um, it's not out there. It's really not out there. A, a lot of stuff I do is not out there yet. Um, it's different. There's nothing out there like it. I just get in my kitchen, and I try stuff and try stuff, and sometimes it's a lot of fails, and sometimes it's a, it's a hit, and those will be in my book. Those, those will be in my book. Please be looking, guys. Please look out for my book uh, coming real soon, and I'm not going to lie to you. Right now, the uh, day before yesterday, I got stuck, so I'm writing this book. And it's a recipe book. And if it was just a recipe book, then I would get it out there faster. But it's, it's not just a recipe book. I want it to be the book book. So it's a recipe book. It's talking about my life. It's my story. Um, I'm going to make some doctors really mad. I'm going to because I'm not holding back. I'm going to tell them what I'm telling them, what I feel. And one of the things that I feel is doctors do not cure you. Doctors don't cure you. Doctors never cure the disease. They cure the symptoms. So the minute you leave that hospital, guess what? You're going to be sick again or you're going to have to see that doctor. What does the doctor always tell you again? Hey, we need to do a checkup. We need to do a follow-up. And how much does that follow-up cost you? Okay? You're never going to hear a doctor tell you, um, delete sugar out your life or tell you, hey, you know what? Sugar's the silent killer or you know what? Sugar's so bad. Sugar's evil. Um, sugar's the devil. Or, you know, that's me. You know, you ain't never going to hear nobody. You ain't never going to hear nobody t say that, you know? So let's see, let me see what I got over here. Should I call y'all? Because, Doug, you know that, Doug, because it's an awesome, it's an awesome video. That's how you guessed it. What's up, Rock? Shout out to Rock, man. If y'all ain't seen that video I did just a while ago, man, I did my cooking channel when, you, you know, cooking with Free the Keto Coach. And go check it out, man. I did four tacos. I did four tacos. And some of them tacos, you know, uh, the keto police might get on you and say, hey, oh, hold up. Oh, hold up. You can't eat that. And it's true. And it's true. But it, it's better than eating what you would eat, you know, the other tortillas or you eat some other stuff and stuff like that. So I'm showing you four different ways. And uh, you can go check it out. You can see it. And, and I want you to go check it out and let me know what you think about it, you know. And, uh, again, if I can help you in any kind of way, reach out to me. You know, I'm always giving my telephone number. I'm going to give it out right now. Well, my number's right there. My number's right there in broad daylight. Look, right there. 832-715-2557. Look, you can't, you, can't, you can't miss it. See? I'll make it bigger for y'all. Right there. So you can't miss it. But sugar, the silent killer. Why do I say it's a silent killer? Because it comes to you silently. It's, it gets you. It gets you. How many times have you just seen somebody and they were doing so well, right? They're doing so well. And this is the kind of, some people don't believe it, but if you don't believe me, everything I say, I got facts to it. I back it up and you can go over there and Google it or look it up or, or do your research. Cause I did, an, I've done a lot, a lot of research. I've done a lot of learning. I've done a lot of whatever I had to do, you know, whatever schooling I needed, I, I done it. And I'm not talking about going to the actual school, but I learned on online. I learned a lot of stuff and, and, and there I am. I learned, you know, and I paid sometimes, but I did what I had to do. And the thing is, one of the things that people don't realize, so, we, so you're seeing somebody, and then all of a sudden, guess what? They got cancer. They got cancer. And, and right away, you think, oh, man, I, I hate cancer. What, what caused cancer? And I'm not, I'm not saying in every case sugar causes cancer, but it does. But it does. Sugar causes cancer. It begins it begins cancer. And then sometimes it feeds into the cancer. You know, so sometimes when you have cancer and if you keep on eating sugar and everything like that, all you're doing is making your cancer bigger, you know. So. Whew. 
man. So he so he's saying my A1C was at 8.7 thanks to sugar. Where is it at now, Doug? Where are you at now, bro? Where are you at now? And um, yeah, man, you know, my A1C one time was probably I can't really remember. I don't want to remember. But I want to say it was probably around seven or eight, around 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 there what he's talking about. And um, at the highest I've been on, on diabetes when I was type 2 diabetic, for the people that don't, don't know, I'm not no longer type 2 diabetic. I no longer have high blood pressure. I no longer have asthma. I no longer get slight headaches. I feel amazing every day. Every day when I wake up, I feel amazing. When I go to sleep, I feel amazing. You know, I don't stop. Feeling amazing. Hey, Doug, that's awesome, bro. That's that's really, 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 really awesome. Really, really awesome. I think that the average of a person's uh, uh, A1C is around, if I'm mistaken, what is it, 2, 3? Two, 2, 3 around there? Um, is that what it is, 2 or 3? I can't remember what it is, but that's awesome, Doug. That's really awesome. Um, and the thing is, guys, man, I, I keep on doing these videos because I want to keep on helping people, man. You don't want to keep on helping people and and showing them there's a better way to eat, you know. That's why I keep on doing the, the cooking when you're cooking with me, you know. And thanks to my wife, she holds the camera, and, you know, it's cool. It's, she, she puts a lot of fun into it. So, you know, awesome, man. But, guys, man, to hear stories like that, to hear, you know, Doug from, from 8.7 in his A1C, and now he's at 5. Do you see how m m m m m m different it is? It's, it's huge, you know. It's huge. So five is normal. Okay, 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 cool. So the thing is, guys, man, it's it's an amazing, an amazing lifestyle. And anyone can do it, but you have to put the work to it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Don't think that if you keep on eating the way you're eating, you keep on eating all these donuts, you keep on eating all this pasta, you keep on eating all this rice, you keep on eating all these tortillas and eating all this stuff, the bread, the sweet bread, everything you keep on eating, and then you think you can go to the gym and it's going to change it. I'll be the first to tell you there's probably some people out there that are more cut than I am that, that got a better body than I do, right? Because I still got a little bit loose skin, you know? I still got a little bit, you know? But I'm not where I used to be at. And I'm good. And I believe me, I'm good. Because my stomach just stick out here. I was never able to go to the thing like this because my stomach would hit me. Well, my, my stomach would stop me like right here. My stomach was right here. I promise you. For people that know me, my stomach was right here. And when I try to go like that, there's no way my stomach would have stopped me like that. I would have been like that, you know. But the thing is, I changed. I changed. I never got to the point where I have to use I had to use insulin. And I seen my dad, you know, uh, get his leg amputated from it. You know, I, I seen my dad uh, go through it. My dad's no longer here. Uh, my dad passed away in 95. Um, I see my sister still poke herself like it's normal. I, I seen I seen some of my friends get their legs amputated not too long ago. You know, um, I seen people pass away from it. I had a friend. I had three friends last year. That passed away. One died died from a, a diabetic coma. Um, one of them died from um, what do you call it? Having a, a blood clot, you know. And all that all that is from sugar, you know. Uh, sugar plays sugar plays a big part. Sugar plays a big big part, you know. It, it's like you know you get inflammation. Sugar causes inflammation. When you get inflammation, that causes swelling. You know, you start swelling up. That causes your arthritis. That causes um you know your body you know not not producing right your body that 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 unbalances your your hormones you know everything inflammation everything's from sugar sugar messes you up i mean how many times that you know and i'm not going to get rated r in this this deal because i don't do that you know but let's just say that when you stop taking in sugar everything turns out amazing everything is different everything you could think of is different once you delete sugar out your life and you're and then I know it's hard because it's an addiction. I mean, sugar is probably this close to cocaine right now. It's a it's a bad addiction to break from what I heard, you know. So when when you when you take when you're taking all this sugar and you've been taking it off all these years, this is what happens because I've had people try this. I've had I had somebody not too long ago that I'm coaching try this and they told me, man, free, I cannot do it. I got really sick. 
And I said, well, you're going to get sick because your body's been taking all this sugar and all this evil sugar in. And all of a sudden you're telling your body, you know what? I'm not going to take no sugar. Your body says, hold up. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on with you? Why are you doing this? You know, but the beauty of it is once you do this, this one week, it's going to be the hardest week. The second week. It's a denial week, right? So you're denial. Now you're like, man, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Why am I listening to free? Why? You know? The third week, you start feeling good. You start waking up. You wake up and you're like, oh, man, I feel good. Like, you just don't understand. You feel good. You want to run. You just, you feel good, right? You don't feel sluggish. You know, you feel good. You know, you're like, man. And then the fourth week, you know, if you continue doing what I tell you, you start feeling even better you start feeling better your confidence levels up by this time you already dropped some pounds and you feel good you feel really good right and that's the best feeling in the world you know i remember one time one time when i was doing the keto lifestyle and now i'm keto adapted so it's just a little bit different for me but when you get to a point when you're keto adapted, you're constantly using your fat for fuel and you're constantly. And the main thing is you learn, you learn from it. I tell people, if I coach you and I teach you, I teach you how to use this to control this for the rest of your life. Because at one time, there was a time where I would see signs or I would see commercials or my friend would come in and say, hey, man, taste this and check this out. This is good. And I would go buy the same thing and buy more of it. Or or, or if I seen a commercial a perfect example they're great uh tony the tiger i used to see that commercial and i used to go and get a big old bowl of cereal and eat me about two bowls and then cut bananas in it i mean oh my god what was i thinking do you know how much sugar the cereal already has and i'm putting more sugar and more sugar and i wouldn't stop till i taste sugar till my mouth had sugar in it till my mouth had sugar in it that's when that's when I was happy. That's when I said, oh, my cereal's perfect. But it wasn't. But it wasn't because that's one of the reasons why I was obese. That's the reason why I got so big. You know, and I'm sure those other people that were, they got bigger than me. But I was big and I was uncomfortable. I had depression. I didn't like myself. I, I hated it. I hated it. I got tired of people always calling me fat boy and, and fat this and fat that and, and, and fat names. And it was just normal to them to call me that all the time. Oh, here comes fat boy. Oh, here comes this. Oh, here comes that. You know, and it, it got to the point where it's like, man, you know what? They're right. I am the fat boy. I, I am that, right? But that ain't what really bothered me. My turning point is with my health. When my health said, guess what? You're type 2 diabetic. I already had high blood pressure. I already had asthma for how many years? I already had digestive problems. I had my digestive problem was so hard, and I hate to keep it blunt. I hope nobody's eating out there. But my digestive problem was so hard that I would eat, and then I would put my finger, put, try to throw up because I couldn't take it because I was so bloated. And then I would use the restroom and I would be like, I would feel like they're stabbing me, like they're stabbing me. Now you try this. You try throwing up and pooping at the same time. I remember stories like that. I remember, and the reason why I'm bringing them stories, because today's Remember When Wednesday. Remember when I'll never be there again. Remember when I'll never be there again. And if you're there right now, I can help you get away from there. I can help you. Doctors are not going to help you. Doug can tell you. I'm sure he went to the doctor and the doctor told him, hey, you know what? We're going to give you some metformin pills. If these metformin pills don't work, we're going to give you insulin. If this insulin will work, we're going to give you stronger insulin. But you know what, Doug? I'm going to tell you what to do. You need to take care of your exercise. You need to exercise and you need to eat right. That's all a doctor ever tells you. Exercise and eat right exercise and eat right now how many of y'all went to a doctor and they told you that put on here how many times y'all went to a doctor and they told y'all that because that's all they do that's all they do you know they don't ever tell you come here or, or they call you whatever they, they say come here I, want, I need to tell you something important sugar is evil in order for you to beat this you need to delete all sugar out your life that's what you need to do. That's the only way you're going to get better. No, they don't tell you that. They tell you, okay, we'll give you this medicine, Mr. Patino. You know what? I'll see you in a few months. I want to see you in a few months and stuff like that, you know? Amen, bro. Amen. 
Doug, amen, bro. That's awesome, man. You know, um, th- that's why I keep on doing this. That's why, and I'm glad you're on here, Doug. I don't know how you found me, bro. I'm, I'm glad you came upon my, 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 I'm always trying to go on all kinds of uh, diabetic pages, trying to go on all kinds of uh, high blood pressure pages, trying to go all over the keto pages and everything. And, and I try to do this because I want to help people. I really want to help people, man. So whatever I can share with you, Doug, man, awesome. You know, maybe you can share something with me. That's really awesome, man. And and, and I appreciate I like to hear stories like that. Do you see what he said? He said she wrote these pr- pr- prescriptions. She wrote prescriptions. I found keto soon after. You see, the reason why key, the keto lifestyle does not work for some people because they don't give themselves enough faith. They let their fear stop them. As soon as they feel they're getting sick, this is not for me. I've had it too many times. Guess what? When I deleted sugar out of my life for the first week, I was dying. I felt I was dying. I was so sick. You don't know how bad I wanted to go get me a soda water. You don't know how bad I wanted to get me a soda water. But I didn't. Close my door, please. Why is it open? Because he opened it. Oh. <laughs> please close it. Who wants to talk Tommy? So, Cruz, what's up, Dad? So, I'm happy. Hey, Cruz is somebody that I'm starting to coach, man, since I think yesterday, the day for yesterday. I know he's feeling great now. And Cruz, I'm happy for you, bro. I enjoy the food you sent me. So he's the one that sent me the hamburgers, man, that he's doing with the lettuce. Awesome, Cruz. Hey, man, it's just it's just the beginning, bro. It's just the beginning. You're going to have an awesome journey. You're going to be talking like Doug. You're going to be talking like me. You're going to be talking like Veto. You're going to be talking to like, like a lot of people. Uh, Veto joined in not too long ago, and Veto's feeling better. You see her face getting thinner in her face. Um, you see her confidence level getting back up. Um, you just see a lot of things happening and, and all of us, man, everybody goes through something. You know, if, if I begin to sit here and tell you what I went through and how I could have started eating under depression, you know, just recently I lost my niece, you know, it was terrible. You know, uh, I lost my niece, my other niece is in jail, you know, and, and, and then I lost my stepfather and we constantly, we constantly go through something and I can keep on going on stuff that's been going on and we constantly go through something, you know, but that shouldn't stop us from staying on our mission that shouldn't stop us from you know god's already helping us out so hey we he's not going to stop so why should we stop you know so let's not stop you know we all go through something you know Vettel, with her permission you know she she just lost her her husband a few months ago you know i'm not sure how long ago but um it's hard everybody goes through something i'm not sure what Cruz went through but we all go through something whether it's divorces whether it's um whatever it is we go through something and sometimes we can drag ourselves back to this lifestyle and we don't have to we don't have to do that let's be strong let's 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 be strong and let's go strong for a long time okay awesome bro okay so four years okay amen bro yeah because i i ain't going back either I got like two years, I got two years and a half or, or maybe close to three years already. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll get the exact time for you. And ever since then, that was the last time I seen a doctor. I was all kinds of tubes. I had everything on me. And since then, I, I made a, an amazing uh, herbal tea, uh, my own health tea. Thanks to my partner, I got my own herbal health tea. Uh, Unstoppable Health Win, uh, Berry Keto, I got that and I did that. I got my bakery, my online bakery, which is sugarsadevil.net. And now I'm working on my book and I'm not stopping there yet. I'm I'm working on, I'm trying to work on an app also so where I can actually, people can look me up on apps and stuff like that. At least one app, you know, so I'm working on a lot of stuff and it's just something that, that it's weird because I have, I mean, you know, Doug, I, you get a lot of energy. It's like, you know, I get a lot of energy. I can't even go to sleep sometimes and I'm up and, 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 and I'm ready and I'm pacing the floor and I'm talking to people and, and I'm trying to help more people and help more people. Guys, and, and awesome, bro. Awesome, Doug. Hey, man. Four years, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. And see, that's a proven fact. When people say the keto lifestyle is not something you can do for the rest of your life. The keto lifestyle is not something you can do from 10 years from now. Well, you know what? You can. Because not only Doug, but I know some other people that's been doing it for a while. And the keto the keto actually came out when, when it was... Uh, <laughs> unstoppable yes 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 unstoppable um the keto lifestyle came out probably about seven eight years ago 
when it when it when it hit really when it when it started hitting hard was recently. So probably like maybe three years ago, everybody started noticing and it became it was not popular. When I was doing it, it still wasn't popular. It wasn't popular yet. But now it's popular. Now everybody finds escape through keto, which is amazing and which is good. But sometimes they're not doing it right. And if you don't do it right, you're not going to get what you want out of it. You know, a lot of people get sick. You have to. I always tell people the keto lifestyle is amazing, but you have to do it right. Guys, man, you have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? I'm going to come over here because I see people on here and I can't see y'all. So, hey, uh, should, Gabriella, uh, shout out to you. Shout out to Daryl sh and, and Joe. Hey, man, I can't see y'all comments. If y'all can, please hit the ecam uh, one time. And once you accept me, then I can see all y'all comments on, on here over this side. Like I can see theirs. But I appreciate y'all being on here, man. I appreciate y'all being on here and everything, you know. And, um, hey, guys, man, if, if y'all want, go pick up my amazing tea, man. I guarantee you, y'all going to love it. Um, it's not expensive at all. So, Trishna Tea. Um, dot com. And my tea is called Berry Keto. Hold on. And you get 10%, you get 10% off if you use hashtag unstoppable. So let me put that on there too. So you get 10 off hashtag unstoppable. Guys, man, go check this out. And you could also, you could also pick up the stevia leaves. Uh, they still, they sell stevia leaves that are really good and you can put them in, you know, in some tea and stuff like that. You know, some good tea that is. So that's trishnatea.com, trishnatea.com, Barry Keto. Um, I was actually trying to, hold on, give me a second. Let me try to put it over here so y'all could get a better idea on it. Let me see where I can put it up. Okay, let me, let me put this over quick. Let me do this real fast so I can tag it. I'm not sure why it's not tagging up on there. So let me see. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, this still, you know, okay, I got an idea. For some reason, this does not let me, um, don't let me type. I don't know why. I haven't figured out, but let me just go and tag this right there. So, so there it goes. You know what? It, it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me, um, it's not going to let you tap it and then you can go to it. That's what I was trying to do. Um, I haven't figured out how to, be able to for some reason i can't leave messages i don't know why i'm gonna figure you know what hold on maybe this is where i can leave messages can i leave messages on here let me see something quick okay so it says click to view so no it don't it don't it don't let me it don't let me do it guys I, i'm not sure what's going on but guys um I need to go ahead and show you something real, real quick. And um, I know I know we're running on time, um, but I'm going to show you something real quick. We're going to get this video going. I want to let y'all know that I want y'all to go see this video. I want everybody to go see this video. Uh, give me a second real quick. All I want you to do is once y'all, I want y'all to go this right here and check this out right here. So, let's say right here, the magic pill. So what it talks about, I want to give a second. Yeah, you can't see it. High blood pressure, For some reason, the light, I figured the light was going to stop it from going. Chronic diseases. Chronic but guys, diseases it talks about people. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work right now, guys. But it talks about people um, that are doing the keto lifestyle. It talks about um, certain certain different kind of deals and stuff like that. And you can go ahead and see it. I don't think you can hear me. So go watch the magic pill. Go watch the magic pill. It's going to be really awesome. Let me put it right here for y'all. It's an awesome uh, um, documentary. So give me a second.
the magic pill. The magic pill. Go watch the magic pill. But hold up. I, I want to show you one more thing. Y'all can't hear me again. Hold on. I want to show you how big I used to be. All right, y'all there? I want to show you how big I used to be real quick, all right? I used to be really big, and I tell people, this is something I used to wear two years and a half ago, all right? I'm going to show you real quick, okay? Pay attention. And I want you to go back and look at the video where I'm wearing this. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. This right here used to fit me, fit me with my stomach over here. Check it out. Look how big that thing is. Look at that. Look how big I was. Never again, guys. Never again. Never again. Why? Because Keto is live TV, baby. Hey, appreciate all you guys, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. If y'all can't remember anything I did on my show today, remember sugar is the devil. To the next video will probably be where on Wednesday, Saturday night. Uh, I do have some more cooking shows when you're cooking with Free the Keto Coach. Guys, if I can help you in any kind of way, Please contact. Remember, sugar, the silent killer, because it sneaks up on you real silently. And guess what? Don't let it do that to you. Guys, appreciate y'all. If y'all can remember anything, remember, sugar is the devil. Guys, take care of yourself. Till the next video, take care of your health. Bye-bye.